I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground In October it feels like summertime I keep falling for you like every night Been communicating through satellites, yeah It's black and white I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain Ain't never coming down unless you call my name Yeah, we should take it slow just like day by day So this is what I'm basically trying to do a DIY and create myself via the Ivar cabinet So I'm gonna like it's gonna be a similar stain like a chestnut I think though my legs are gonna be more so like a block that I'm going to paint gold and then I'm thinking about putting a marble slab on top but I actually really like the way this looks without it so this is what I'm going for the dupe okay oh my god so just as I'm talking about it I see the exact version of like what I want I just don't want the legs to be this high but I want to get a marble slab to go on top I want it to be a deeper wood tone I'm going to get handles just like this <clears throat> so this is a better look at what I'm gonna do to the cabinet and just for reference, that's $900, and my budget is 150 I thought about doing this to my cabinet, putting dowels on top, but I actually think the more I see it, the more I think I would just like it without the dowels. Like, I would get tired of that. But it is really cute. I'm, I think I'm so used to, like, CB2s that, like... I'm a little thrown off by like the furniture in here. There's not a lot of it. I don't know if that's just like they're out of stock, but it's like very scarce. I do like this though. This is nice. It's a really nice wood tone. I can't wait until Pommy gets this big. Look at this. No light, just that. I know Pommy can do it. I really like this little candle holder. I like the bigger one too. That's cute. Hey guys, so I did grab some things yesterday from Crate and Barrel. Also, if you watched my last video, which I'll put a card up here, I recently did a shot with me of Target's 2021 line. So I figured that I'd show you guys in this video. If you've been on my channel before, if you look through my videos, then you'll notice I probably do a homeware haul every two, every like two to three months. That's typically because like I build up my home decor. I don't really go and like spend a bunch of money at once or buy a bunch of things at once. I really like to just buy when I see something that I'm drawn to or that I think will just organically fit in my home. So that's why these are kind of always collective hauls because it's basically like little things that I've pulled here and there. So um, we'll start with Crate and Barrel because that's where I went yesterday. I typically don't shop at Crate and Barrel. I always stop into CB2 in the city in West Elm, but I, I really never shop in Crate and Barrel. Like the price point is just a little bit higher than CB2 in West Elm and, and realistically just most of the time out of my budget. All the stuff is in front of me, so I'm just gonna show you the stuff really quickly. But what I got from Crate and Barrel is these two cute, I don't even know what this is. It's definitely stone. Oh man, I'm just noticing the one that I got has a stain on it. Ah, uh, boob. Okay, well, anyway, I got these two candle holders. I don't plan on putting candles in them. I really just plan on having them, you know, as like decorative pieces. I just really thought they were super cute. This one was 13, this one was 20. It just really just kind of goes with the decor of my house. I also got from Crate and Barrel, which is probably the only thing in this haul that I actually needed, were these placemats. And I'll just bring it in so you see the pattern. I keep two stools at the counter, so I just got two placemats. And this is like that plastic kind of like wipeable material, so I thought that was really good. Oh, these were also like $7 or $6 a piece, so, you know, not bad. Next, I'm gonna switch to Home goods, because I've been making like random stops into home goods. My home good and my Marshalls are are one in one. So I've been going to Marshalls to look for like athleisure wear and workout stuff and just like the things that I typically buy from Marshalls, but because they are connected, um, I always walk through the home section. The most recent thing I got is this 
eye cap pillow. So I have been looking for like the perfect lumbar pillow in my living room now since, since I got my couch. Um, and to be honest, I don't think this one's gonna be it either. It might just be too small in scale, but I want like the perfect lumbar pillow. This pattern definitely matches with all the pillows, but I think it's gonna be too small in scale, so we'll see. Also got from Home Goods this marble plate. I don't know yet if I'm going to use this on my desk or just use this as a styling piece. I finally do the last DIY for my office. So I just really like the colors though. This was $10, so I just figured this goes with like the color palette of my home. I will use it at some point. Another thing I got from Home Goods, this just looks like a block, but it's actually candles. And again, don't necessarily have like a true place for this. I just really like the color of it and I'm probably just gonna use it when I finally style the office. Let's switch to Target really quickly. So in that shop with me last week, I saw a lot of things that I liked, but nothing that I really pulled the trigger on. The only things that I actually got from Target, um, and not to say that I didn't like a lot of stuff, I did like a lot of stuff, but I don't, I'm at the point where like, I don't wanna buy anything that doesn't actually have a purpose in my home. Like obviously once I start taking on clients, I would buy stuff and I would, you know, store it in like a storage place or a garage or something like that. But right now, like the focus is finishing my house. So there wasn't really any, thing that I needed from the lines per se. So I only picked up two decorative pieces. And to be honest, now that I got the other two candle holders, these might go back. I got the two stoneware candle holders. It was these two candle holders. It was like a circle plate in one size and an additional size. But you see, I don't know if you can see this. So what ends up happening is that it marks very easily. And I get that that's supposed to add to like the effect of it being aged, but I actually don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all, because it doesn't make it look aged to me, it just makes it look like it's scratched, which is what it is. So I finally, finally moved quick enough to get the one and only Circle Vase from H&M. Finally was at my computer at the right time, or on my phone at the right time when I got a notification that this was back in stock. This sells out so quickly, I think I've probably been on the notification list for this for like six months and sometimes I miss it um, Well, basically I always miss it because it's the first time I was able to grab it. So Yeah, I'm basic and I don't really care. I know everybody and their mom has this vase But now I got it too <laughs> And I'm excited about it. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you guys was a random um, Was a random what's that place called the charity shop? Hmm Goodwill. Random Goodwill find. I got these cute little glass ashtrays. I'm not gonna use them to smoke, obviously, but I just thought they were so cute. And like, again, I'm really trying to get better at styling vignettes, and a lot that goes with styling vignettes is honestly having pieces to style. So, these were maybe a dollar each, two dollars each. I just thought these are super cute. And then also, like, this, this kind of glassware, this beveled glassware is really in right now. Like, CB2 has a lot of this. It was on trend, it was $4, I figured. Why not? Also, another really random thing that I wanted to show you guys is this bouquet that I got. You hear that? Slack life. Slack life. One of my hotels is like two blocks away from the flower district, and there, I found this floral shop now that like I love, like every time I go in there, I'm chatting with the, well that's how I am. Like, if I'm a patron of your business, like, I'm a patron, like, and if you sell me something that I really like, I'm gonna come back and back and back. Anyway, really like the owners now, like I'm always chatting with them. So basically like every two to three months, I'll go in there and buy um, dried flowers or some type of like floral installation. So this is the one that I got this time. Don't know what this is. This is not baby's breath, if that's what you're thinking. But I got this to put in my bedroom because my eucalyptus is just, it's, it's dead and it looks really bad now. So I am going to put this in my bedroom. If their bouquets are like, I would say they're medium price. It's a very like aesthetic type of place and they like know that they're creating like floral arrangements that are very like on trend. So I think this bouquet might've been like 
somewhere between 18 and 21 bucks which like yeah you can definitely go to trader joe's and get like baby's breath or something for like five dollars but you know i like the shop so i support local businesses you know i do all right guys so thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you like the shop with me portion of this and the haul i'm gonna start trying to do this Probably every two months because realistically that's just how I shop. By every two to three months I've accumulated things, enough things to actually put in a video. But just a reminder, if you liked this, if you liked hanging out with me, if you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday. Also smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Come on, you know, help your girl out. And obviously comment below what was your favorite piece and what's your favorite spring rock, spring line right now a lot of retailers and furniture makers are putting out their spring lines their spring catalogs I'm like a kid in a candy store during this time of the year spring and fall I'm like give me all the catalogs give me all the design I love it so let me know what your favorite is below because we love a comment party and I will see you in the next video bye guys